Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make tallow sunscreen. So let's start off by jumping right into the recipe and showing you how to make this and then afterwards I'm going to talk a little bit about the whole idea of using tallow in a sunscreen as well as some of the controversy regarding sunscreens and some other very interesting stuff. So first of all let's jump into the recipe and show you how to make this. So I'm going to start off by weighing all of my ingredients. This is a recipe where all the ingredients are by weight. So I'm going to start by weighing out one ounce of beeswax. And then I'm going to put that into a double boiler. All of my ingredients are going to go into the top of a double boiler so I can melt them down. And then after the beeswax, I'm going to go ahead and add two ounces of tallow. I'm just using straight tallow today, but you could use um, tallow balm if you wanted. It would just end up being a little bit of a softer consistency when the sunscreen is finished, but that would also work. Next, I'm going to do two ounces of coconut oil. I'm doing extra virgin coconut oil, so it's unrefined. Add that to my double boiler. Next, I'm going to measure out two ounces of zinc oxide. This is non-nano zinc oxide. Next, I'm going to add three ounces of a liquid oil. This can be any skin-friendly liquid oil that you'd like. I like to use one that has natural SPF properties to it, like argan oil or carrot seed. And today, I'm actually going to be using a combination of argan oil and carrot seed. So I'm gonna do about one and a half ounces of each of those. Add that to my double boiler as well. Okay, so as my double boiler starts to heat up, all of these ingredients are going to start to melt and then I'm just going to combine them together with a whisk until it's this nice smooth mixture. You can see as this is getting really hot, the oils are starting to melt. Coconut oil is melted, the tallow is melting, and the beeswax is melting as well. Okay, so now as you can see now, it is all completely melted. You can't see any little pieces of beeswax or tallow or anything. So now we're just going to go ahead and take it off of the heat. And then it is ready to store into the container of your choice. You can either do a glass jar or you can do a silicone tube, which is nice if you're at the pool or somewhere where glass is not allowed or you wouldn't want it to break. I find that it can be a good idea to let this cool slowly, that way it can start to thicken up a little bit and you can continue to stir it and then that way you can prevent the zinc oxide settling to the bottom. It will stay more suspended evenly throughout the mixture. I'm going to go ahead and stick it into my jar today, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that now because I'm going to be able to continue to stir it while it is in the jar pretty easily, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that in. Okay, and then you just let it solidify. It'll thicken up until it's a nice, thick, creamy type of a texture that you can easily apply to your skin and rub in. With this sunscreen, like other homemade sunscreens, a little goes a long way. You want to use just enough that you can rub it in easily, so that way you don't have too much and you're looking white. All right, and then let's talk a little bit about the fact that I'm using tallow, which is kind of a different ingredient for a sunscreen recipe. I love grass-fed tallow. If you've been on my channel before, you will know that. I have lots of other skincare recipes that use grass-fed tallow. I'll link those below. I show how to make tallow balm, tallow soap, lip balms, sugar scrubs, all kinds of things. And I also have other videos where I talk about the benefits for tallow, both for eating it and for using it on your skin. And I'll have those below where you can check out and in the cards. But in sunscreen, tallow is really nice because it has all of those fat-soluble vitamins and antioxidants and beneficial skin nutrients. So it's a great way to 
protect your skin. If you use it on a regular basis on your skin, like as a daily moisturizer, then you're feeding your skin all of those good vitamins and nutrients, which helps it be healthy long term and is less apt to get damaged by the sun. Now, this also goes hand in hand with responsible sun exposure. I personally like to take the approach of using shade and clothing as much as possible, and then also eating a nutrient-rich diet that has a lot of those fat-soluble vitamins and beneficial nutrients in it, so nourishing my body from the inside out. In my research, I learned about um, the fact that eating those beneficial nutrients from those fat soluble vitamins in animal products actually nourishes your skin from the inside out and protects it from damage from the sun. On the other hand, if you're eating industrial seed oils that are in, that are inflammatory, those going into your body react with the sun's rays in your skin and can cause damage in your skin that way. And that is one of the thoughts that is behind skin cancer actually. But eating those antioxidants from those healthy fat soluble vitamins in animal products protects your skin from the inside out. If you're on my channel you probably already know that it's a good idea to avoid commercial sunscreens because they contain a lot of dangerous chemicals like hormone disruptor as well as chemicals that can cause nerve damage and brain damage and are harmful to developing babies in the womb. So if you're like me, you probably like to know how to make it yourself to avoid those toxic chemicals. And then there's also some controversy about homemade sunscreens too, about whether or not they work, about whether or not we should be using zinc oxide on our skin at all. And right now at this point in time, I'm choosing to eat those fat soluble vitamins, make sure that my skin is nourished from the inside out, try to do responsible sun exposure, using shade and clothing when possible, but if I find myself at a time like maybe on vacation or at a special time where I'm going to be out in the sun longer than normal and I'll probably burn if I don't have something on my skin or for my kids, then I'm going to go ahead and turn to something like a homemade sunscreen. We've been using this particular recipe for years. I've kind of tweaked it over time to get the consistency right and then of course switching some things around to include tallow. But basically, we've used this recipe for years and it's always worked great for us. It does protect our skin from burning really, really well. We've never had a sunburn when we use it. Anyway, I encourage you to do your own research and come to your own decisions about what to use on your skin and for your family, but that's what we are doing and we're very happy with it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the idea about incorporating tallow in there and I hope that you found that information helpful about how what you eat impacts the health of your skin and I'll have links below to the ingredients that you need to make this if you want to find those and make it yourself. Leave me a comment below and let me know what are your thoughts on sunscreens. I'll also have a link below where you can find my blog post with a printable recipe card so you can print that off and have it. If you're new, I wanted to mention that over on my blog I have a password protective member exclusive subscriber library. It's where all of my free ebooks and checklists and printables and everything that I've made like that are all in one spot. So there'll be a link below where you can sign up to get access to that. Okay, if you like this video and found it interesting or helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else who you think might find it interesting. That really helps my channel and helps other people find it. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, Channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.